uh, in his global gospel farm to make disciples, God works and God has work for us to do. As we look at this passage of scripture today, I want us to consider first what our work is. That is, what roles God wants us to fulfill in his mission to make disciples. Then secondly, I want us to learn what God's role is. What work does he do? All right, we're going to come from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 through 9. Verse 6, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, God's building. Our work on the field, what does that, what does that look like? What does our work look like? Now, it, it is my belief in order for us to be instrumental in preparing the heart for increase, we will need to operate in different roles. Now, the one thing about the role that you operate in, you won't know which one you're doing at that time, or you, you won't even know where that heart is in the process. But the, thing, the interesting thing about it, it isn't important to know when or where. It's just important that we understand growth comes from God, which brings me to the big idea. The big idea, no God, no growth. No God, no growth. At times, at times, our role will be, as I said, to till, to plant, to water, to fertilize, and we, we're going to have to pull some weeds. So we're going to start with tilling. Tilling naturally as a gardener or farmer breaks and loosens the soil to receive the seed. Tilling the heart as a fellow worker with God, we should produce the same effect which is the ultimate goal is to loosen and soften the heart so it is ready to receive the seed. Pray and ask God for an opportunity, the opportunity to bring Jesus, to bring heaven, to bring religion into the conversation. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be anything grand. One of the things that I, that I have on my email, my signature on my email says, to have friends, you must show yourself friendly. And people have asked me over the years, where'd that quote come from? <laughs> It's an opportunity to share Jesus. It's an opportunity. I'm just telling you, it's an opportunity to say, that's from the word of God. Tilling the heart opens the heart to receive seed and water. And and we're going to have to plant and water. We'll go back to 1 Corinthians 6b. Paul says, I planted Apollos water. A couple of weeks back, a couple of weeks back, I was having a conversation with my cousin, you know, and it it was about his acceptance of Jesus in his heart. He said it was a series of events and people I met along the way, and some pain I went through that brought me to Christ. Now, hearing him tell me, tell me this about his conversion, my heart rejoiced. God used all these different people and situations to convert this one soul. I understand that we play an important role in the process. With full understanding that the production of this work and fruit isn't dependent on us. God will use our labors to labor to make things grow. No God, no growth. And that's the part of giving increase into their heart. There's a part that I mentioned earlier that we're going to have to play to make disciples. We're going to have to fertilize in weed. Fertilizing and pulling weeds requires having a relationship. You're going to have to have a relationship. Fertilizing the soil as individuals, we've got to read the word. We need to talk to God through prayer. We, we will especially need to gather together as we're doing this morning. Fertilizing the heart is an important part, and it's an important step in becoming and making disciples. Fertilizer helps to provide nutrients to the heart so the seed can grow. But those nutrients, they can immediately be taken by weeds. Weeds that, are, that try and take root in the heart are designed to choke out the seed that was planted. Now, the heart can have many seeds. Many weeds, weeds of anger, weeds of resentment, weeds of pride, weeds of doubt, and weeds of judgment. To pull weeds out of someone's heart is going to require having a relationship with the individual. You're going to need an invitation from the individual to pull weeds out of their heart. 
Everyone knows from agriculture, no matter how gifted you are or how many relationships you have, no gardener or farmer actually causes plants to grow. All he or she does is provide the conditions under which growth can take place by the blessing and power of God. To God alone belongs the credit for producing. As Paul turns from considering the labor of Apollos and his own activity to the activity of God, there is a significant change in tense. Paul's church planning ministry was limited to an 18-month period, and Apollos was engaged, was engaged in watering for a limited amount of time. Throughout the whole period of their activity and beyond, whether they were awake or asleep, God was continually at work, causing the word to keep growing and thriving in the Corinthians' heart. Why? Because it is God who keeps giving the growth. No God, no growth. 